All right. Hey, everybody. We're going to talk about angle of elevation, angle of depression. Um, so we use this when we are doing trig functions of right triangles. So when you look up at an object, that is called angle of elevation. It is formed by the observer's line of sight and a horizontal line. So as you can see here in the picture, here is the angle of elevation of a person looking up to a um, top of a light. Is it a light tower? Yeah, I guess so. All right, so we've done word problems before, so it's the exact same thing. It's just drawing it and figuring out um, what trig function. So Casey's sight to the top of an 84-foot lighthouse at an angle of 58 degrees. If Casey is 6 feet tall, how far is he standing from the lighthouse? So we have the lighthouse. Here is Casey. His angle of elevation is 58. Um, the lighthouse is 84 feet high and Casey is six. So it gives you the height of Casey because we know that this whole distance is 84, but we need to figure out what this distance is. And to do that, we do 84 minus six to get 78. So now we're trying to figure out how far he is away. So if we do opposite over adjacent, that is tangent of 58 degrees is equal to 78 over X. Then we solve that how we solve um, any other problem that we've encountered. And X is equal to 48.7 feet. Next problem, the angle of elevation from a kicker's foot to the football to on a football field to the top of the goalpost is 17 degrees. If he is standing 131 feet from the base of a goalpost, how tall is goal goalpost? So our angle is 17. He's standing 131 feet away. How high is the goalpost? We are doing opposite over adjacent. So again, that is tangent. and we get x is equal to 40.1 feet. Leah's mom is standing at the bottom of, of the slide at a playground waiting for Leah to slide down. If the angle of elevation from the bottom of the slide to the top is 46 degrees and the slide has a vertical height of nine feet, how find the length of the slide. So vertical length of nine feet, we have 46 degrees. We're trying to find how long the slide is. So we're doing opposite over hypotenuse. So we're doing sine of 46 is equal to nine over X. So X is equal to nine over sine of 46, which is equal to 12.5 feet. And the last problem, a dog is standing five feet from the base of a tree looking up at a cat that has jumped 16 feet in the tree, what is the angle of elevation from the point of the dog is standing on the ground? Oh, what is the angle from the point where the dog is standing on the ground? So we're saying the dog is standing five feet from the base of a tree and it is 16 feet high. So we're trying to find this angle. So we're opposite over adjacent. So tangent of our X value, remember that X is an angle, 16 over five. So tangent inverse of 16 over five, and we get that angle to be 72.6 degrees. Nope, trying to find the next page. So angle of depression. Um, so just like angle of elevation, elevation means um, upwards, angle of depression is downwards. So when you look down on an object, the angle of elevation is formed by the observer's line of sight and the horizontal horizon. The angle of depression is congruent to the angle of elevation because they are alternate interior angles. Okay. So we're going to draw and label the diagram, then solve for the missing part and round to the nearest tenth. So a lifeguard is sitting on a platform looking down at a swimmer in the water. If the lifeguard's line of sight is eight feet above the ground and the angle of depression of the swimmer is 18 degrees, how far away is the swimmer from the lifeguard? So here's a lifeguard. 
He's sitting eight feet above. His line of sight, so here's a horizontal horizon, like if you're looking straight out, is 18 degrees. So this is a little bit different. But what we can do is we can say this angle here and this angle are the same. So we would have this one, oops, sorry, as 18 degrees. And we're trying to figure how, out how far he is. So we're still using the angle of the depression, but you have to remember it's an alternate interior angle. So we're doing opposite over adjacent. So tangent of 18 is equal to eight over X. We get X to be eight divided by tangent of 18. And that is 26.4 feet. A pilot in a helicopter spots a landing pad below. The angle of depression is 73 degrees and the horizontal distance to the pad is 1200 feet. What is the altitude? So here's the hel hel helicopter. It is, we'll say, 1200 feet from the pad and its angle of depression is 73 degrees. So we have to determine how high it is. So opposite over adjacent tangent of 73 is equal to X over 1200. 1200 tangent of 73 is equal to X. Therefore, X is 39 to five feet. <clears throat> A building is to building A, so say this is building A, is 480 feet from building B. Oh, I'm sorry. So here we go. And B is 654. If the angle of depression for the top of building B to the top of angle A is 42 degrees, sorry, not that one, 42 here, and this is 42 down here. How far are they apart? So what we need to do is we need to do, figure out what this height is. So we need to do 654 minus 840 to get 174. So we have opposite over adjacent, so tangent of 42 is equal to 174 over x. x is equal to 174 over tangent of 42. Therefore, x is 193.2 feet. And the last problem we're going to do for today is Zach is standing at the top of an outlook tower and spots a water fountain below. If the outlook tower is 75 feet tall and the angle of depression is 28 degrees, what is the horizontal distance between Zach and the water fountain? So, Standing on a 75 foot tower, he spots at an angle of depression of 28 degrees. Right? So that means this is 28. We're trying to figure out how far he is from the fountain. So opposite over adjacent, so again this is tangent, is equal to 75 over x. X is equal to 75 over tangent of 28. So we get X is equal to 141.1 feet. All right, hope that helps.